Well, you may not know this, but Selby Botanical Gardens has one of the best collection of orchids in the world. In fact, it's one of the main plant species they're bought in a study. And every year, the Orchid Show celebrates their amazing ray of orchids. That's why Angel Lara, the director of the Glass House Collection, is here to tell us all about orchids and the array of them. And you're going to give us some basic tips, and I really need it because <laughs> <laughs> this is my orchid. It's a beautiful <laughs> You think it's beautiful? Is it it's dead? Gorgeous. It's it not dead. It was. <laughs> it's a little wilty, just a little on the dry side. Just okay. a little. Yeah. But a little she has the dry a little side. growth down yeah, here. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, just well, right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the new growth is from the top, so you'll get uh, <laughs> apical growth will come out of here. So, so it's not leaf. dead. No, there's a new leaf coming out. All right. So, so I I'll can give bring you a few this hints back. on that. We could definitely bring this. Despite this. Despite this. And that's the top flowering component of it, which is normal. It's supposed to senesce and it's supposed to die, and this is the plant. So I think. You know, Are you doing okay? Are you supposed doing to leave good. that part alone? Well, we're supposed to remove that. I'm not and that, sure. Uh, sure. And uh, so when we as get, you as you yeah. can see, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, so the, I need the basic tips that you can give anything. It does look sad, though. I will say it is well, and that is one of those characteristics of a wilty plant. Is that sad? I'm not very happy. Look. Aww. Which is what we have right here. It's like a pleated. It's pleated. so unhappy. Sure. It's okay, sweetie pie. With, with so orchid mean. diversity, it's so difficult to know exactly how much to water each an individual orchid. There's so many of them, over 25,000 species. Uh -huh. There's 25,000 species? There's over 25,000 species, <laughs> over 300,000 hybrids. Wow. So like, you can imagine, this can come in like thousands of colors, thousands of sizes, thousands of arrays. So that's a lot that's of, a lot. you know, 25,000, I can't even imagine. So each right. of them have different specification of what you need to put in it and... For the most part, right. And Ooh. so you have to know the monster that you're growing in a sense, right? So there are so many that, that the uh, common th types of orchids is what's available to us. And that we can sort of like hone it into five genera. Those common plants that we see at the box store. All right, so like tell products. me what tips I need to bring this back or keep another one alive. And let's start with hers, because you said it needs water. It so needs water. So do we just give it a big old drink? You can, but I'll show you something in that pot. And a lot of times when we uh, uh, receive these orchids or like we purchase them, they are like, not like set in like, like the growing conditions that we want to grow them in. Ah. And so a lot of times there's no drain hole. Ah. Right, so we need that water when you're like, the, and they're in another pot, right? So now we have a little, pot within a bigger pot that has no drain hole. So like, when it's in bloom, we enjoy it. And we have it in our kitchens, or we have it in our, our uh, uh, lanai's, and, right. and we're having a good time with them. Once they go out of bloom, like you mentioned, we're supposed to remove this stuff. So like the little like hair clip, it's nice for your hair, it's nice for your beard, but and it's definitely, you know, it's not for, for like okay. growing. What about air circulation? Does it need to be in a certain environment? Oh, he's killing it even <laughs> no, more. No, well, sure. <laughs> he's pruning. I love doing that. And this, you know, it's one of those nonverbal conversations, like we need to remove the flowering spikes so that the orchid can begin to grow again. Oh. And it's one of those, you know, oh, ways to communicate with an orchid. I well, know, but it's dead already. Be, though, it used to be very pretty, I'm so sure. So here's my question. This <laughs> lives on her desk in an office. Do they need more yes. air than that? Uh, they do need a little more air. The uh, interesting part about these Phalaenopsis orchids, and these are like the moth orchids that you see in front of you, and they're uh, more common orchids, is that they are highly like, adaptable to indoor use. Oh, okay. And so Oops. they're great house plants, sure. Yeah, so, and so, so it's your fault. It no. wasn't your fault. So I think what you need is just a little more water. Okay. You know, it's just a little what more water. What about repotting? Because you brought all sure. these things, and you mentioned earlier that sometimes they come in one container, then there's another container. Right, and we see that a lot in orchid repotting classes. And right, all that needs is a little more water. What we notice about right. orchids well, right add away. A gallon today. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what we notice about orchids right away is that one, like they don't come in the soil that we're used to. But plants coming in, they're epiphytes, so they're plants that live on top of tree canopies. Oh. And so they're not mm. terrestrials. Right? So, they, so don't they don't grow in dirt. They don't grow uh -huh. in dirt so or soil, right? So they grow in what we call Oops. a media or medium substrate, which is usually a bark Base mix, which is oh, a tree based mix, mix, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's sponge rock, which is inert. It's supposed to add like drainage. And one of the, like, the best uh, parts about like these mediums is that, like, exactly that air circulation, that d drainage that you're getting up in the tree canopies, you're pretty much recreating it like in a pot. Yeah, and okay. the other thing that we notice is its root system. And you know, a lot of us that have repotted like other plants uh -oh. before. Yeah, look at that. Like, these are getting. very, wow. these are very different up. roots, right? That's so they're crazy. they're thick, they're uh, large and succulent. They look like and so lima they're, beans. They're, they're, <laughs> right, they're not edible, but <laughs> do not eat them. <laughs> do not eat them. But they are like showcasing what like an orchid has is, is a lot of characteristics of retention of water. Oh, so okay. that would make when me you, think that they're kind of hardy. When when you look at that root system, yeah. they would, have that uh, reputation. And they are hardy. Thinking. I mean, if you're like hanging out like in a desk for months and months and months without uh, water and you're <laughs> alive still, 
That's pretty that's hard. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's, 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 that's the hardest. That's the They're slow but and I, dying. However. But I also hear that you can't really put it out in direct sun. They do not like like the full sun. They are canopy plants, so they do live within like the tree canopy. So that's shady under mm -hmm. there. It is uh, high, and so there, there's a lot of air circulation. The uh, uh, one common uh, mistake that we do that you didn't do was we overwater these things. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are like on top of trees. They're like uh, anchored or or like living or perched on these uh -huh. branches and so like if it does get rainwater it it drains, it drains pretty fast away. right yeah. so, so they how do need water, do water them? sure so for an indoor plant like say uh, um, like this phytonopsis or like the moth orchid uh -huh. like once a week is more than enough oh and, I like that you know but and like how? going like, under yeah, how much because yeah. I need directions sure. so this is easy this is very easy so if you put it under your sink or, or if you have a watering can uh -huh. when mm -hmm. the water begins to come out of the bottom you're done so it's got to have that oh. hole. It, it has okay. to have those like drain holes. And uh, orchid pots are geared to that. You can see like the clay oh, look uh, at slatted this, yeah. pots. There's a lot of drainage there. And oh. that is important. A lot of holes, culture. yes. I'm starting to realize that none of my plants have that. So maybe that's the reason why <laughs> all of them may die. This is sure. what your plant needs. So all right, well, I want to get you guys uh, the information that you need because the orchid show is coming up. The orchid show is going to be at Selby Botanical Garden through November 26th. It's a great family fun event for the weekend and the holidays. So you want to visit that, and it's going to have a bunch of unique things for everybody to see. And next, when we come yeah. back, we're going to avoid basic holiday decorating. We'll be right back.